back in the second edge of 16. It says in three, a sword is sent upon you and who may turn it back? That sword is a, is a missile. It says it's sent upon you, who gonna turn it back? Cause these swords, these missiles, these intercontinental ballistic missiles are gonna be guided by your how about should be how shot. So who gonna turn them back, man? You know? I read 16. I'm gonna jump to 16 and hit by that. Verse 16 says, like as an arrow, because these missiles are known as arrows. Because when you shoot an arrow, the arrow is gonna go basically straight until it hit what? A target or some kind of target. So an arrow is gonna go until it's, it hits something. So these missiles are known as arrows. So when they're shot, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna go across the stratosphere. They're gonna enter the atmosphere and go across the stratosphere until they hit their targets. You know? And it says, like an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, archer, return of not backwards. Because like I said, when an archer pull an arrow back and let it go, it's gonna go to the hill spot. These are not boomerangs, man. A boomerang will come back. These arrows are not going to return. And it says, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. So the Lord is getting ready to wipe this place out, man. He's getting ready to cleanse it, man. It's gonna be cleansed of all the filth, man. And all these abominations. It's about to be cleansed in America, man. It's a wonderful work that we hastened, hastened it for, man. We can't wait. We, we just patiently wait, man. We eagerly wait for it. You know? That's why he said we'll send you pastors, man, according to his own heart. And the Lord's heart is what? What's the Lord's heart? Don't tell me love. It's war, ain't it? And we warn with these scriptures right now, but it's finna get physical in a minute. Believe that. The Lord get ready to send missiles on America, and he gonna destroy it and put these people back in charge who's supposed to be in charge of this planet. <laughs> Jay Quiver, boy. They look as cool like a motherfucker. They look as cool. And it says, verse, uh, Verse three, a fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? So who gonna quench this fire right here? If a burning building, you might can quench it with a fire truck, but this thermonuclear heat, you're not gonna be able to quench that fire. It's just gonna perforate and melt and burn everything in sight. The scripture told you it's gonna melt everything. All the elements gonna be melted. So that fire can't be quenched. It says, verse five, plagues are sent among you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive any hungry lion in the, in the wood? Or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it have begun to burn? Question. May one turn again the arrows that is shot of an archer? Question. That's no. And no, you can't, you can't get a hungry lion off his meal either. When a lion real hungry, if you go up there, he gonna tear your ass apart. Part of my rude speech, man. It says, uh, it says, uh, verse nine, a fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? So this wrath is the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. This is Yahweh's wrath, you know? Verse 10. He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? Right question. So everybody gonna fear. Everybody gonna fear when the Lord put this thermonuclear destruction. Even the even the uh, uh, elect are gonna fear, man. Uh, this is a. Uh, First uh, Peter 4 and 18 And if the righteous scarcely be saved well, Scarcely means with difficulty Right? Because we're going to be afraid also Because so much stuff going to be happening 
But we have to we have to keep our faith, man. Our faith in Yahweh should be our shot. And knowing that we we have done all we we hope that we hope that that he uh see fit that we've done everything that we he have commanded of us, man. And we have done it to the best of our ability that he gonna save us out of it. But he said, if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So the righteous is gonna be scarcely saved, meeting with difficulty. So uh and let brother, it's possibly when the when the missiles hit, you could be in the fire. You could be getting uh lifted up through the fire, man. It's possible you could be getting beat up through the fire. And the fire be all around you, you're not feeling it. Who's not gonna be afraid? Everybody's gonna be afraid in the day of the Lord. And it says, verse uh, 10, verse 11. The Lord, your how about should thou shy shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to power at his presence? Who's gonna be beaten to powder at his presence? First of all, and his presence is going to be the ones that pierced him. The Roman soldiers that pierced him, they're going to be beaten to powder. And then when you read in 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter, it tells you that we were going to be, that they're going to be in the Valley of Decision, Hama got one, over there and, and fighting in the Middle East. And when they see the Lord come back, they're going to, uh, everybody's going to like basically stop fighting and try to fight against the Lord. And he tells you that he's going to, through his mouth, the tempest is going to come through his mouth. He's going to kill him without having an instrument. That beam of light is going to come from his mouth, meaning from those chariots, and it's going to pulverize the people, man. He's going to turn you into, it's going to cremate you, turn you into powder. You're going to be beaten to powder. It says, verse 12, the earth quaking and the foundations thereof. The sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before your Lord Yahweh should outshine, and before the glory of his power. Because of thermonuclear missiles, they're gonna hit the earth, they're gonna split the earth open and shake the earth. Also, when they hit the water in the sea, it's gonna create uh, tsunamis, bigger than you ever seen, man. When they explode on the water, that pressure is gonna make waves be probably three or four hundred feet tall. Things that you've never seen before. And the Lord is getting ready to make that happen, man. Come soon. Y'all go ahead and walk through. Just know, man, the Lord get ready to come back. He get ready to set the nation of Israel back in charge. And this man that's in charge won't be in charge long. There won't be no oppression on his people. Look at Jake. The woman wanna listen, Jake wanna go on through. It's crazy, man. Go on, baby. Go on, baby. See, this is Lord gonna kill him and his whole family, man. You know? Uh second Ezra 16 and 13. For strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. So they're gonna hit their targets, man. So there's, there's not gonna be nothing that the American defense system is gonna be able to do. There's no defense that you're gonna have to, to uh, uh, counteract and decept any, any missile that the Lord is riding on. They're gonna hit their spots, man. Your defense systems are gonna be basically shut down, man. It's gonna be free open reign to destroy America, man. The Lord is promising he got to get rid of you wicked, man. Because we can't go on with you wicked, man. No longer, man. Man, I can't even see myself five years from down in this society. Especially 10, you can't see yourself 10 years in this society, man. The way stuff is going. I can't even see myself being there five years. Shit is fucked up around here, man. Brother just put up a video the other day. You had a damn uh uh uh, uh, uh a damn uh transvestite, the little eight year old uh cross dressing trans and tranny and shit. He was like eight years old, man. He eight years old. How do you know what he want? That's his wicked society, man. It's got to go, man. It's way past wicked. Wicked is as, as what polluted this place, man. 
And it says, uh, for strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when he begin to shoot into the ends of the world. The end of the world is from the other end, that's Russia. The end of the world will be over here and vice versa. It says, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come unto the earth. So they're going to be shot from silos up into the atmosphere. They're going to go through the stratosphere and they're going to, when they come down, they're going to come down back to the earth, man. Six or seven thousand miles away. You know? And it says, The fire is kindled and shall not be put out. I mean that nuclear fire till it has consumed the foundations of the earth till America is destroyed and it says verse uh, 16 like an arrow which is shot of the mighty arches returneth not backward even so the plague that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again woe is me woe is me who would deliver me in those days Destruction, me, me, who gonna deliver me in those days? And that's him showing you that it's, it's reincarnation. This right here was probably 500 BC when Ezra was writing this. 400 BC maybe, 500. Circle. He said, who gonna deliver me in those days? Meaning he was prophesying about the future, which is now. So Ezra is either here now or he'll, he's here now prophesying or he's about to be born to prophesy. He's gonna be here in them days of the thermonuclear destruction. Cause he just asked, what well, is me? Who gonna deliver me in those days, man? He saw a frightening, he saw a real frightening uh, vision of the destruction of America, man. He was like, who gonna deliver me in those days? So that's, that's, that's reincarnation also. Ezra gonna be here, man. You know? And with that, man, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS, who rule well. You know, the peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the brothers that's pushing this truth on the four corners of the globe, and all truth and sincerity. In the strength of Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai. You know? And with that man, a vibe of all, a vibe of all, a vibe of all, a vibe of all, a vibe out of woman, a vibe out of woman, a vibe out of woman, a walk like Babylon, a walk like.